Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the pipe. All, all the gas is collected throughout the landfill, and it all comes to this one point here, where it then comes under. And this right here kind of works as a sump to where it's collecting a lot of that uh, gas condensate, okay. which then is pumped into that uh, tank over there. So Brian, let me start by, by asking you, what, what are we looking at here with this, this whole uh, setup? This is what we call the uh, flare skid. So essentially this is taking all the gas and, from the landfill, collecting it down into one point. And so right now we have a system that has three blowers on it. Really we only need to use one of those at a time. And that is sufficient to collect, provide enough vacuum and uh, pressure along this whole hill here to collect all the gas. Right now, this gas or this landfill is producing about a uh, thousand cubic feet per minute of landfill gas, and it's all being collected right down here. What's great question? We still have to keep this in place just in case anything happens at the gas and energy plant. We need to make sure that we can still control the landfill gas and destroy it if needed. But what is actually going to happen is they'll end up tying in right here after the blower system okay. they'll have an outlet that comes out and then you'll see the stakes and they're putting in the pipeline right now where they'll feed all this gas up to that gas to energy plant where the potential for power yeah it's all about the btu value and that's what makes the methane the viable resource for collecting and then converting it to energy it is that it is able to do that right when they take it up there, they have to condense it down to more usable methane content. So they are really trying to go for at least 50 to 51% methane. So they're compressing all of it down to where it's a, a better product for them. Let me let me ask you to explain, if you can, on a simplest level, when they get the when they get the methane over there at this facility, how do they turn it into energy? On the simplest level, this. Uh, this methane will be used as the fuel source to power these engines, these big cat engines that we have out there. And as these engines uh, rotate and continue to, to spin, that's what creates the electricity, which will then be fed back into the, the grid.